call on fathers to take the hands of their daughters and walk them to school, even if the gates are shut, Professor Ismail Mashal, who runs a private university in Kabul, says he has had enough of the restrictions women face in Afghanistan. Slender and well-dressed, he's a mixture of defiance and raw emotion, even if they're not allowed and they should do this daily. It's the least they can do to prove they are men, he tells me holding back tears. In December, the Taliban government announced female students at universities would no longer be allowed back until further notice. They said they were doing this to enable them to create an Islamic learning environment aligned with Sharia law practices, including changes to the curriculum. Not long after the ban was announced, Prof. Mashal went viral on social media after tearing up his academic records live on television, saying there was no point in gaining an education in today's Afghanistan, he says he won't stay silent. The only power I have is my pen. Even if they kill me, even if they tear me to pieces, I won't stay silent now. Prof. Mashal says, I know what I am doing is risky. Every morning, I say goodbye to my mother and wife and tell them I may not return but I am ready and willing to sacrifice my life for.